Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Chris Abraham Show, Season 5, Episode 38. Is it 38? I'm not sure. I think it's 38. Um, and I caught my body healing last night. It was weird. Like, I know it's not what was happening. It was that my knee was sore and it had been inflamed and that over the course of my sleep, the inflammation decreased and I, you know, bent my knee and all that other stuff and then it went away. But in my weird dream space, I believed that over the course of the night, the abuse that I've been putting my body in with regards to, uh, bye-bye. The uh, abuse that I put my body in with this uh, 30-pound plate and all the stuff inside. <clears throat> I uh, woke up in the middle of the night. My mama says, what you gonna do with your life? Oh, baby dear, I know you're still number one. And girls, they want to have fun. Oh, girls just want to have fun. So I woke up in the middle of the night. And my knee was like really sore and like, I'm afraid about my knees not dealing well with this, uh, you know, I think it's like 24 kilogram bag now. And I'm using these, uh, Whiten or Witten, uh, minimalist shoes, cheap shoes off of Amazon because I don't want too much cushion because I'm afraid of imbalance or twisting my ankle or something like that. So... Uh, I took an extra long walk yesterday, but only, you know, with this new weight, I've only been doing like eight to 10,000 steps and I want to do 14,000 steps, but I'm adapting from a 20 pound plate to a 30 pound plate. So I don't want to overdo it. Also, it's humid and hot here in DC. I think it gets up, it gets up to 90, I don't know, 88, 86. It's not that hot. I don't feel it that much. But even though I don't seem to feel it that much, like my uh, sniper boonie funny hat sure does get sweaty. So I know that happens. Um, So I woke up in the middle of the night. My mom, so I won't do that again to you. And uh, my knee was like, oh, it was like so stiff and awful. And... uh, I folded myself into sort of a, a, uh, an embryo kind of curled up kind of thing in my bed and went back to sleep. And when I woke up, my legs felt terrific, right? And I, I make myself stay in bed for like eight or nine hours, which ends up being six, seven, eight hours of actual sleep, according to my Fitbit and my uh, Garmin. So I give myself plenty of time. And when I wake up, I guzzle water and electrolytes. And I've been eating only uh, carnivore, so only protein and fat. And I know that helps with recovery. And with all this walking and so forth, my heart rate is down. 
my resting heart rate is like 56, 58, 61, 62. And um, so that's good for my sleep and my recovery. And even Garmin, which never ever gives me any body battery, they tend to always just like steal body battery. I actually got a huge body battery boost overnight, so I obviously slept well. My HRV was good. But it was pretty amazing, like, to feel like I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh my god, I effed up. Like, I broke myself. Like, my legs are traumatized from all this walking with all this weight. And uh, I woke up really like thinking that really feeling that and um and then when I woke up in the morning everything felt like completely peachy and so I'm like I caught you body I caught you I caught you healing and recovering and now I understand the extreme value of sleep because that only happens really during sleep so get your sleep kiddos Honestly, if you don't prioritize sleep in your life, you're an asshole, right? Like these people, I got such the wrong idea uh, during when I was 16 with um, Close Up Study Tour. We met with my senator, uh, Senator Inouye, and he was like, I only need five hours of sleep. Every night I just get five hours of sleep. Now... I lived in a world where I thought people didn't bullshit or didn't lie or didn't talk crap. So I feel like if someone told me something, I believed them. I still believe you if you tell me something, but I always put little asterisks by things that I think are lies or bullshit. And I feel like someone who is a high level athlete or a high level bodybuilder or a I feel like these people are secretly like long sleepers. I feel like they take recovery as seriously because I've started to see like these full-time athletes, you know, people who are underwritten by uh, Olympics money or by Nike or Brooks or whoever, whomever, Hoka. They have time during the day, people practicing for the Olympics take daytime naps and they sleep and they they will do one workout in the morning and they will go home they will eat and then they will freaking crash and then they will do they will do a uh, a second workout They'll have dinner and then they'll go to then they'll go to bed. They'll go to bed. So I feel like high level athletes uh, watch too much Andrew Tate and feel like that if they're not fronting, if they're not making people feel like they're super people by saying that they don't need a baby's level of nine hours of sleep a night to recover from you know thousand pound deadlifts. Um, here comes a big truck I'm sure this is the one that goes by every day there's wind and there's trucks and so like this is going to be a terrible episode but the good news is is that this is a terrible episode anyway But I am walking with my camel, sorry, my uh, coyote brown. Uh, <laughs> I keep on wanting to say it's Narnia, but um, there's a type of, of giant, uh, giant rodent. I saw one of them in Portland, Oregon. It's a Nubia? Nubia? No, that's, a, that's a, a, an African woman. Um, uh, 
All I can think of is Narnia. Nutria. So Nutria is a color, and Nutria is the exact color, I think, is what other countries call coyote brown. And I just call it tan or khaki. But calling something khaki is khaki cool, not tactical. And that's not cool at all. So, yeah, I'm walking with it. I've got my chest rig. It's a gray runner's uh, kit bag in uh, ripstop nylon. And it's, I think, the medium size, maybe. Here comes another truck. This is fun. What would Jesus do? This is so much fun. I think it's always fun to do podcasts this way because, honestly, I don't want anybody to listen. So if I have blah, blah, blah podcasts like this, uh, maybe someone will listen. They'll be like, I'm not going to listen to that. Listen to all that wind and all that yammer and all that street noise. It's crazy. Who would listen to that? Fair enough. Um, So... I did sign up to be a tail, tail runner, tail whatever, for the park run this Saturday. So I have to be there at 0830. And I'm biking there. And then afterwards, I'm going to join them for coffee. And then who knows what I'll do next. Maybe I'll go to Courthouse and watch the Barbie movie. Anyway, everything's so crazy. I think I'll call it a day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, and aloha. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.